morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio, so today we're going to be looking at another exciting new card from Ultra Prism, because gosh darn it, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to look at all the good cards from Ultra Prism. Although I've also done a video about bad cards and a video about pre-evolutions, so check those bad boys out as well. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to look at Heatran, and Heatran is very important because Heatran is a metal Pokemon. And as some of you will know from videos I've been doing in the past month or so, metal Pokemon are about to really, really take off in terms of playabilities. It's going to be incredibly exciting. We've got the new Solgaleo coming out. Now, I've talked about the new Solgaleo on a number of occasions, but essentially for a double colorless energy, it does 120 damage and attaches to basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. That is an incredibly good attack. Not only that, but it's got an ability that removes weakness from all of your Pokemon, and the GX attack is just like Primarina GX's in that it heals all of your Pokemon for a double colorless. So, with that coming out, it's looking an awful lot like metal Pokemon might be good. And of course, Magnezone is coming out as well. Now, the Metal Magnezone has the same ability as the Lightning Magnezone had. It just allows you to attach as many Metal Energy as you like to your Pokemon during your turn. Which is incredibly handy, because it means that you can get Pokemon like Heatran going very, very quickly indeed. And we've still got the option of the old Solgaleo GX and its Soul Burst GX attack that attaches 5 energy from your deck to your Pokemon in any way that you like. And then, quick shout out to Dusk Main Necrozma, that, well, I mean, it can do 220 for 4 energy and then discard free, but then you get them back using the things that I've just mentioned. Quite frankly, I think Necrozma is going to be really good. I think Magnezone Necrozma is going to be a great deck. And I think that the new Solgaleo GX is going to be a great deck. And having borne all of that in mind, we need some little Pokemon to flesh out so that we can have some non-GX attackers to kind of fill the gaps and take some prizes. And that, that might be where Heatran comes in. So, starting off, we've got 130 HP, which as I've mentioned in a number of videos lately, is incredibly good. It means that Sylvalai falls 10 damage short of getting a KO. It means that Golisopod GX falls 10 damage short of getting a KO. There is a monumental difference at the moment between 120 and 130 HP. Having 130 is great. Now you do technically have a weakness to fire, which could be an issue with stuff like Volcanion, especially you might be thinking, well, hang on a second, Ross. If metal decks are going to get really good in the future, surely fire decks like Volcanion are going to see more and more play. Well, remember that you don't have weakness if you're playing Solgaleo GX. So I actually think there's a decent chance here that it's not going to be a particular problem at all. Although, do bear it in mind. And the resistance to Garboda is both expected and welcome, because, yeah, I know Garboda's not seeing a huge amount of play at the moment, but it always might see play in the future. And a retreat cost of three at least gives you access to Heavy Ball. And I'm seeing a lot of deck lists at the moment that I think should be playing Heavy Ball that aren't. Now, as we go into the first attack here, I know we're four minutes in because I've given a nice little intro all about why metal Pokemon are going to be good and the context in which this might be a good tech. Do remember that, as always, fingers crossed, I have put links, little timestamps in the description. So if you're ever thinking, well, Ross, this is all good, but I know this, I know metal Pokemon are going to be coming good in the future. Could I possibly jump forward a little bit and go straight to the first attack? The answer is yes. Click on the description timestamp stamps are there, you can flick straight to the attacks. So the first attack here for a metal and a colorless energy, 30 damage, and any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn is reduced by 30. And if you don't think 
This is a useful attack which people will want to use. You probably weren't playing when Heart Gold Soul Silver came out and Jump Bluff was absolutely ruling the format. Because this is Leaf Guard. And Jump Bluff was primarily played for mass attack, 10 damage for each Pokemon in play. But every single time it was possible to get a KO with Leaf Guard, a Jump Bluff player would get a KO with Leaf Guard. The reason is, well, if I'm going to take a KO, I might as well take 30 damage less the following turn. So now he trans... HP here, unless your opponent plays something like a Pokemon Ranger, which I would be stunned if they did, essentially becomes 160. And if you want to go full tanking here, you could even play a Fighting Fury Belt, given that Heatran is a basic Pokemon, and then you've essentially got a 200 HP Pokemon, and if you're playing Solgaleo, you don't have any weakness either. That sounds pretty good to me. Now, 30 damage hitting for weakness will be enough to get a KO on something like an Alolan Volpix and a Ralts. And this, to me, sounds like a pretty good plan. You're not going to win the game doing 30 damage per turn. What you are going to do is have some turns where you finish off a Pokemon using Heatran, using this attack. And this is really where I think this attack comes in. It's all about finishing Pokemon off. It's all about doing that last tiny little bit of damage. And then having an incredibly tanky Pokemon in the active that your opponent isn't going to KO. Now maybe they play something like a Guzma and KO something on the bench, in which case, good on them, that was a good play. But if they don't, then you're basically sitting there going, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, because they're not taking a prize. If you can take out a little basic Pokemon doing this, or you can finish off a GX with this attack, it's incredibly useful. If you're behind on prizes, might I remind you about counter energy here, which would pay for this attack straight up. But I don't think this is a counter energy kind of card. This is a card where you're playing Magnazone, you're playing Solgaleo, and you use this to take the odd KO. Even if your opponent can take a KO, they're only getting one prize. What's more likely is they're having to invest a whole bunch of resources to try and take a prize on a single prize non-GX Pokemon. That, to me, sounds like you're winning that exchange, and that's fun. But if you do want to take big one-hit KOs, how about Metal Metal Colorless, 130 damage, discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. Now, like I often say with Pokemon like Alolan Ninetales, if you look at the characters there, you can see that it is just any energy, not necessarily Metal Energy. So you could discard Double Colorless Energy to do this attack, but... Generally, with stuff like Magnazone, you probably won't need to. Hitting 130 every turn is good. As I've said, 130 is a great amount of damage to be hitting. Something like a Greninja will go down in a single hit. That is nice. Even something like a Baby Volcanian Hainik will be going down in a single hit here. But you could do more. You could add a Choice Band here and go up to 160. And then I'm going to get really upset. Because, of course, Tapu Lele has 170. And you really want to be doing stuff like getting a one-hit KO on a Tapu Lele here. Now, don't get me wrong, you could play a Professor Kakui to get that KO, but then you're getting into clunky territory. You could always use something like a promo Tapu Koko, do 20 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon, and then you're essentially hitting 180 with this, which will get Tapu Lele and a whole bunch more, but as good as it is that you're doing 130 and getting a KO on something like a Greninja, it's just as bad that you're not doing 140 so that you could be getting a KO on a Tapu Lele. This is not a Pokemon around which you're going to be building a deck. This is a one or two of tech Pokemon. This is where you're building a metal deck and you look at it and you go, oh, and we do this all the time. Oh no, all my main attackers are GX Pokemon, EX Pokemon. I'm giving up two prizes every time my opponent takes a prize. I really wish 
I had a decent non-GX attacker, especially one that's basic and doesn't take up much space in my deck. If you've been playing this game for any length of time, while deck building, I guarantee you've had that discussion with yourself or with a friend. Is there a decent non-GX Pokemon that only gives up one prize, preferably a basic, that I could whack in this deck just to have a single prize attacker so I'm not always giving up two prizes? Heatran. For metal decks, Heatran now becomes that Pokemon, and for that reason, I'm giving it three Wossies. It gives up one prize, it can take prizes, it's got two useful attacks, it is the epitome of a decent, basic, non-GX attacker. It should be in your binder. I would not be at all surprised to see this occasionally getting a bit of play in some of these decks. And for that reason, I've got to give it free wassies. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you. Do you think this is going to see any play? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and for some live action when I'm feeling a little bit better, you can catch that over at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. But by far, the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.